We started today's play session with a game of Stick It, where you have to land the skill with perfect control, so no steps are allowed, before you can move on to the next harder skill. The first one to complete all the skills wins. I've never tried front full on this floor before, but I'll go for it. Oh, excellent as bad as I thought of it. It's a really fun game. It's a cardio workout to get the blood flowing, and it essentially warms up all the muscles in the body. The added benefit is it also improves your aerial awareness and landings. I feel like I'm almost strong enough to do a non-false grip cross but I don't want to push it too hard either mainly just because of the elbow bicep tendon tremendous pressure I can feel through there very excited I just watched that last set pretty happy with that straddle planche I wouldn't say it was it but it's definitely getting stronger every time uh, I'm going to go for it just a kip to L and then a straddle planche hold take out the explosive nature of it and just see how well I can hold it and then I'm going to try and hold a solid cross just past 45 degrees that's feeling good. Certainly could go lower in that cross, but that felt solid where I was at, so. And it feels lower than I've ever been without a false grip as well, so that's. I love these rings play sessions, so much fun. I just said I'm gonna go kip to the trail planch again, see how well I can do that. Then I'm gonna go for a cross 45 degrees press out. Press handstand with straight arms, negative through full planche, and then a tuck Maltese hold. It's tough in saying the rings came out too much on my straddle planche. Yeah, look, you're getting pretty strong, man. You might want to watch that. The cross press is pretty good. The program's working. <laughs> gonna try one more kick to try to planch. Just all I'm gonna think about is what Tyson said about trying to keep the rings in. Front lever. Well, uh, locky. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the straddle yeah, planche yeah. was pretty good because I could actively see you trying to keep it close. Helps so much. Yeah, it's a really important uh, factor when you guys are doing planche on rings. Keep them together, no matter what. That's the first thing to be thinking about, really. So it's a habit. Next thing I'll do is we'll film a straddle planche from side on just to see if I am parking the lot or not. And then I also want to try a, mul a tuck Maltese to see where that's at. Felt park, but also felt in control. So, just need more lean, I think. I'm trying to get seven today, so I'm hoping five and six feel really good. Oh, felt pretty intense. But I do feel ready for six, so uh, give me a two minute break and I'll go for six. That feels pretty intense, so that's where I'm going to leave it today. I want to go harder, but I, you know, it's, it's not worth me pushing a little bit further in one session and then potentially straining something. Because I'm feeling really impressive pressure in my shoulders, biceps in this area. So yeah, it's great. Don't want to push it too much tonight. Staying at 25 today. I feel like I can go heavier, but this is a good challenge. And I'm really feeling the bicep pump today. I've been feeling this area throughout the session, so that's just the reason I don't want to push 
my strength to 100%. I'm just sort of letting it rest a little bit, even though I'm challenging. What are we thinking, Big Red? It's, um, it's amazing, eh? I yeah. think that's, that's solid effort right there. Your critiques for me there, man? Um, you were saying something earlier about like my uh, triceps are a bit small or something. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. What was that about, man? <laughs> no, but you are huge, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's f***ing right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, now you got nice. one more. One more. Hey, good I'm job. Gonna six there, mate. Don't get ahead of yourself, eh? Yeah, yeah, Sorry, mate. I might actually, I might try 30 kilos for my second set today because that was feeling pretty good. I've had something on my mind. Big red, get up here, mate. Come on. I was just wondering, man, um, when you're out at a club and you have a bit of fun, meet a girl, do you often tell them you need to put big red in the shed? Oh, mate, definitely. Yeah. You know, like 18 inches of terror right here. The girls need it, mate. Hey, yeah, that's yeah. how we do it. He's responded a different way than I thought he would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you've, been, you've been a great sport, mate. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Now we saw some Billy Jean moves. Let's let's see him, mate. The little. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Woo! Very nice. That was sick. Uh, we're going 30 because that first set felt good. Getting inspired by a smooth criminal over there. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know my MJ guys. Five. Just want to smash this out. I really want to get ten, but I only just started doing five recently, so I should be content with this. Right. What do we think, guys? Should I go for ten or? Yeah. We've had uh, Big Red's impression. We've had Tyson's. Layton, what do you got for us, mate? Dun dun ch, dun 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 ch. That's great. Just gotta feel the music, guys, and just release. So what it's all about. Very relevant to the cross press set. That was a good uh, active recovery. So that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna go for ten. It's a stronger bodyweight workout series too. I gotta push myself. Also, because it's only level one, the tendon pressure of this isn't that. It's not demanding really. So it's more of a strength challenge than a tendon challenge. And because of that, I can push myself to you know trying to increase the weight in such a rapid manner. I've got Ricious, I've got Leighton, I've got Tyson, hoping they can really psych me up to get through it all over in a few seconds, but I'm just gonna push it. I really wanna get this. Come on, man. You're on your own. Let's do it. 
squeeze those Follow, hands. Oh, let's go. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on. Up. 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 Push, 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 push. Push, one more. Dig deep, dig deep. Come on. Go. Come on, you can do it. Go, go, go. 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 Damn it. Oh, that's solid, man. It feels good. It's just not what I want. Man. Gotta quickly go to five, do another two reps. And then, uh, it's kind of like a bench press. Two reps and a, not quite the third one. So. Is that a PB anyway? 10 kilo yeah. cross press? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I've never done even one 10 kilo cross press before. It's a PB, which is awesome. I'll do two more in a 10 second hold. Easy, solid. Thanks, well boys. Done. Oh, look, always a pleasure. I do appreciate the push. It really does help. It really does help. Oh, yeah. You're not just doing your own set, you don't let the guys down. your critique to not spot the chest so much so it was kind of like you do your own thing and they're just adding to it if it needed it rather than pressing the chest and legs yeah that was awesome it felt really good especially that last rep you made me work for that one one two three four five one <coughs> Trying to make them a little bit further apart just to make it a little bit more difficult. Pretty much as wide as I possibly can without falling through. It's getting too easy. Four, five. Session. That was awesome. Feeling incredible. I am being somewhat cautious because I'm at these new levels of strength and I don't want to keep pushing, pushing to 100% and then getting an injury. So 
Um, I'm being cautious here and there, but I'm still trying to push it. You, you just got to listen to your body and be smart. That's really all there is to it. Learn from your experience. Learn from other people's misfortune experience as well. To finish off with trunk strength, that was sweet. We pushed it really hard. What really I think makes it really intense is we don't rest. We go boom, Tyson set, my set, Tyson set, my set. Um, I know that maybe people think you'd want to rest a bit more, but it works really well for us. There's not enough time to tune out or anything. You're just pushing it. We've got a big sweat on. You'll notice each set we've got a bit more sweaty. And then at the end there, Niall suggested we use ankle weights for the heel drives and for those knee lifts. Although uh, a few weeks ago I forgot to bring my ankle weights, so we decided, hey, we'll just resist with our bodies. And we found it was super intense because that way you can just give that person exactly the amount of weight that they can handle. And um, because of that, you saw we were both on our limit, just pushing as hard as we possibly could for every rep. It's a really good way if you don't have weights, or even if you do, but you want to try something new. It's, it's awesome. That was our last session here in Australia. Getting so excited. It's crazy. We haven't had much time at all to prepare for the US. Tyson converted his money to US when? Yesterday? He beat me by one day. I did it today. Yes. We're flying out in less than 48 hours. And yeah. Um, I haven't packed. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. And uh, I'm planning on probably packing tomorrow night yeah. around 1 a.m. <laughs> forgot, <laughs> forgot my undies. So next week is going to be completely new. We've never done anything like this before. But I am sure that's going to be... It's going to bring things up to a new level of like ridiculous excitement, epicness. Like I was saying before, I feel like we have everything so perfect here in Australia. We've got this access to this awesome gym. We have all these friends that will spot us and help us here and there. So everything in Australia is pretty perfect. So we're just now going to a new country where everything is unknown. Um, but you shouldn't be scared of the unknown. That's, that's, going outside of your comfort zone is where you're going to make the best progress and growth. So I'm sure you're going to notice that even though there's so many uncertainties for us, we're going to make the most of it and it's going to result in things that we never dreamed of happening, I would say, like meeting people who we never thought of and learning heaps of new things. The basic premise of the second half of this series is we've got everything perfect now, so let's f*** it up. <laughs> so next week, man, I can't even tell you what's going to be in it. It's going to be so awesome, so much fun new gains, new levels, new program as well. Niall's working away on some uh, little tinkering adjustments to help us further refine our technique toward the goals. It's going to be crazy. So you guys don't want to miss next week. It's going to be incredible. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and you get it straight. You get a straight notification as soon as it comes out so you can watch it as quickly as possible. It's going to be so, so sweet. Thank you so much for watching. We can't tell you how much we appreciate your support and we'll really look forward to seeing you guys in the United States. Also, if you guys enjoy the content, if you're learning from this series, leave a like, it really helps us. Actually liking it helps it be seen in other people's feeds in related videos. And we presume you do like the content, I would hope. <laughs> Otherwise you don't have to. Yeah, obviously. exactly. If you don't like it, no worries. F you. Yeah!